New research has confirmed that patients admitted to hospitals at weekends are at greater risk of dying compared to those admitted during the week. There are around 11,000 more deaths each year among those admitted Friday to Monday than the rest of the week. But researchers warn it's impossible to say how many of these deaths could have been avoided. Well, our health correspondent Dominic Hughes is at a new seven-day-a-week facility, the Northumbria Specialist Emergency Care Hospital in Cramley. In Cramlington, uh, Dominic, it's been made no secret by NHS staff that they have their concerns about seven day a week services. Well, that's true. Some do, some don't. I mean, here at this specialist hospital, as you say, it's the first purpose built hospital of its kind in England. It offers seven day a week specialised care for the most urgent and emergency cases. We're actually in the pathology lab, which works seven days a week, 24 hours a day, where they analyse blood and urine samples and provide that information to uh, the doctors and the consultants who are treating patients here and that really seems to make an impact, have an impact on the quality of care they receive. So sort of to try and find out a little bit more about how that works, I'm joined by cardiologist uh, Dr. Colin Doig. Dr. Doig, thank you very much for, for joining us. So just to explain to us to start with, I mean having a consultant on a ward, having a consultant present seven days a week, what sort of difference does that make to the quality of care that patients receive? Oh, there are very significant studies which have shown huge mortality and morbidity benefits for patients, particularly with stroke disease, heart disease and chest disease, that if you're treated early by a specialist, your outcome will be significantly better. So that is very apparent for a number of important conditions, but it is also equally apparent that if you get a patient into the right place and treat them quickly, they are going to be more likely to get home quicker from hospital and more likely to be mobilised and return to their normal everyday life. Now it's clear from the report in today's BMJ that it's not just the presence of consultants like yourself, it's also the sort of back office if you like, places like this, the pathology lab that makes a big difference. Why is that important? You're absolutely right, it's a team that is very important and whilst the consultants have got a lot of news and headlines, uh, without the rest of the staff we wouldn't be able to do anything that we do do. So having um, a range of diagnoses like we have here, state-of-the-art equipment, the big plus in our institution since we opened the radiology department, who have been fantastic in the way that they have been able to deliver scans and the results of those scans within minutes of a patient arriving in the hospital. That allows the clinicians the opportunity to diagnose and to treat much quicker than was otherwise possible. So the clinicians can see those scans more quickly, but why does that make a difference to the patients? because the patient then has a much earlier diagnosis. We can then intervene at a much earlier stage in the patient's acute illness. We can start them on the road to recovery very, very much quicker. Okay, Dr. Doig, thank you very much for joining us. Well, many people view this hospital as a kind of model for the future of the NHS, but there are lots of different experiments going on. We're trying to improve care over the weekends uh, across England, but what's clear from today's BMJ article is that there is an issue with care at the weekends and that's something everyone agrees is a problem. The solutions, however, are a lot more complicated. Back to you. Dominic, thank you. Just a reminder that you can read more about how the NHS operates at the weekend on our special website, bbc.co.uk forward slash NHS weekend.